You're watching Let's Chat. Coach Maurice Saliba joining us as he does just about every week, talking about ways to stay healthier, put some of the bad habits down, and live a longer, better life. Coach Maurice Saliba, good morning. Good morning to you, Chip. We are talking this morning about a study you have come across concerning the consumption of processed meat, such as bacon, pepperoni, and things like that, with the development of dementia. Tell me what you found out. Yeah, and it's really fitting since we live in the South, right, Chip? Because we eat a lot of sausage and bacon and pepperoni and those type of processed meat. The latest study out of the University of Leeds in United Kingdom found that if you consume around 25 grams of processed meat, and that's concerning. I hope nobody consumes that much. That's about a pound and a half of processed meat, but I guess some people do that on a daily basis will increase your chances of dementia by 40%. Wow. And this is extremely concerning at a time when there's high anxiety, high stress with COVID and the economy, et cetera, that the more of that kind of stuff we eat, not only it's causing our diabetes and blood pressure and cholesterol to go up, but you also have now a deterioration of the memory and causing dementia. This is extremely concerning and we need to pay attention to that. And the numbers of people who are afflicted with dementia continue to keep increasing. It really is. In the United States, around 2014, the CDC found about 5 million people are struggling with dementia. I think it's more than that. Worldwide, it's about 50 million people. And a couple of things I'd like to add to that, Chip. We know that the lack of sleep can increase dementia. We know that the lack of water, if you're not drinking your 64 ounces of water, long term, that can increase dementia. So there are other factors besides just the processed meat. All right, what about unprocessed meat, like pork, beef, veal, things of that nature? Yeah, it's interesting. The study found the opposite. They found that if you consume the, the veal, the pork, the beef, it actually helped with the dementia. So the unprocessed food and meat, I mean, is actually good for you. And you have to eat those in moderation. Remember, the red meat, like pork and beef, you really have to minimize because of the uric acid. It can, it can really help. It can really affect your arthritis your gout, uh, migraines. So there are some side effects, but not toward dementia. Toward dementia, it found that it helps in that area. Give us a few tidbits about what we can do to improve our brain health overall, not just short term, but long term as well. Yes, sir. We know exercise is one. We know that the increase of blood flow to the brain and oxygen flow to the brain is extremely helpful in that area. So we know walking a good 30 minutes a day can extremely help tremendously. A good night of sleep because your body has to heal and recoup at night. You need to get a good, a good seven to eight hours of sleep. Make sure you're drinking 64 ounces of water, especially in the summer months because we dehydrate a lot quicker and cut back on caffeine drastically because caffeine only increases the side effect of memory loss, without a doubt. All right, Coach Maurice, good advice as always. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll talk with you next week. Thank you. If you want to Thank find you, out Chip. more about Coach Maurice Saliba, he's only a mouse click or two away. Check out the website, bridge2healthandwellness.com. Bridge, the number two, healthandwellness.com. You can also link to that site through ours, which is My Best Me Chat with two T's.